walked in and the lobby was full of armed ICE police. Her officer, higher ups from him, they denied her stay. Their reasoning is because she didn't appear today, that's why they denied her stay. But we know that that's not true because they've had 69 days to respond to her application, which they could have done at the beginning. They know her case. She's not a stranger to them. It was a simple yes or no. What is very clear from their conversation, they waited until the new administration came into power and are making this choice now to cause her mu mu more suffering to her and to her family. Jeanette is going to need this community now more than ever. All of you have sh who have shown up for her, if today's your first time or your 200,000th time, because it's been that many times for her, please stay with her. She's on the phone so she can hear us and feel us and send her energy. And I think we should hear from her now. I have the privilege of representing Jeanette uh, these last four or five years. And I have to say, today is a hard day, but today is the day that we fight. Today yes. is the day that we move forward for Jeanette and defend our communities against the Trump administration. Yes. Yes. Jeanette's case right. is exhibit A in the brutality and the stupidity of Trump's immigration enforcement. Yes. 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 Jeanette is a mother of three citizen children. She's lived in Denver for nearly two decades. Yes. She's a contributing member to nonprofits, community organizations, and faith-based groups. She is dedicated to fighting for the rights of others. And she's also the survivor of violent crime. And she has a pending application for status. The fact that ICE has denied her stay is repulsive. Right. It is repulsive to the sense of due process. It is repulsive to our concept of fundamental oh, fairness that people have a chance to have their case heard fairly. Her U visa application has been pending for 13 months. Mm -hmm. This is an example of what the Trump administration is going to seek to do. And it is going to be upon us as a community and us as local and state governments and us as individuals to fight back and to fight for fairness. Yeah. And Jeanette's case is the case where we start. Situación porque es increíble ver cómo a ellos no les importa el bienestar de los hijos. Tengo cuatro hijos, tengo una hija que tiene DACA y tres hijos ciudadanos. Los que se toquen el corazón, que se den cuenta de que no, no solo es, dañan a, a una persona, sino somos miles los que estamos siendo dañados y más que nada niños inocentes. Porque mis hijos, ¿qué culpa tienen de que haya un sistema que no, no trabaja bien? Ellos no entienden por qué su mamá tuvo que ser detenida y estar por seis meses en una cárcel. Cuando no robó, no mató, no hizo nada malo más que manejar sin una licencia por necesidad. Ese es mi mensaje para ellos, que se toquen el corazón y vean primero las necesidades de nuestros hijos y no las de sus bolsillos o las de sus médicos. Muchas gracias.